Hi! In this session, we're going to learn some basic HTML tags for web application. First of all, what is HTML? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It is a text file containing small markup text. The markup text tells the web browser how to display the page. This is an example of HTML tags. You can see the HTML start tag with the tag HTML, head, and title. In this HTML, I want to display Halo CAC584 class to the web browser. What is the HTML elements? The HTML elements start with a start tag. For example, here I use B and end with an end tag which is backslash B. So the purpose of the B tag is to define an HTML element that should be displayed as bold. Here are more basic elements of HTML. If you want to display text header, you can use H1, H2, H3, H4, or H5 tags. So this example shows text header for H1 for text Welcome to CSC584 class. Now let's look at a list. So there are various ways of HTML tags to list your option in web pages. In the example, we use unordered list to display breakfast menu on the web. So this is the HTML tag for list unordered and this is the output that's going to be displayed in the web browser. Now let's look at tag attribute. Tag attribute provide additional information to an HTML element. For example, tag define an HTML table. We add border attribute to the tag table. So attribute should always come in name or value pairs like the example. Next, let's look at anchor tag. HTML use the anchor tag to create a link to another document. An anchor can point to any resource on the web, such as an HTML page, image, sound file, or even a movie. So the anchor tag is used to create an anchor to link from, and the href attribute is used to address the document to link to and the words between the open and close of the anchor tag will be displayed as a hyperlink. So this is an example of anchor tag to display welcome to enterprise programming class that link to a file named welcome.html. Now let's look at HTML forms and input. An HTML form contains form elements. So form elements have a different types of input elements, such as text field, chat box, radio buttons, and also a normal buttons. Now let's look at forms. So before you can use the HTML forms and input elements, you need to add a form tag in the HTML. A form is an area that can contain form elements. Form elements are elements that allow the user to enter information in a form such as text fields, text area fields, drop-down menus, radio buttons, and checkbox. A form is defined with the form tag. So this is an example of form tags. Start and also this is form tag end. HTML use input tag frequently to process input from forms. So the type of input is specified with the type attribute. For example, we use tag fields when you want to uh, user to type letters, numbers in a form. After user have specified the input elements such as tag field, user can submit the form with action attribute and the submit button. 
When the user clicks on the submit button, the content of the form is sent to another file. The form's action attribute defines the name of the file to send the content to. The file defined in the action attribute usually does something with the receive input. So this is the example form text to submit to a file named process.jsp. That's all for now. For more detail on HTML for web development, please read chapter 3-0 in my Google site.